Gapcast number three deals with the aging Europe, that is, the proportion of people above 65 years in Europe. On this axis here, we show whether it's 2%, something 10 here, or up to 18% of the population are above 65 years of age. Uh, and here we show the family size, whether it's one to two children per woman, or whether it's up to seven, eight children per woman. Every bubble is the country, the size is the population, and the color shows the continent. The brown over here are the European countries. This is North America and that is Japan. And you can see that the industrialized countries in 1961, they had two to three children per woman and they had about four or five up to ten uh, percent of their population above 65 years of age. And the developing countries were all down here with five to eight children per woman and a very low percentage of uh, people above 65. Now let's see what has happened. I run now the world from 1961 and you can see how Europe start to age immediately. Higher and higher proportion here of uh, the population is above 65. And China get a small, this is China, China get a small family size but remains with a low proportion of old people. India is the big blue bubble, moves with there and in 2004 you really see that what we used to call developing countries all have very few old people in their population, but many of them, the middle-income countries, now have small families. Up here are Europe, and let me show you which these countries are. In the top here is Japan, and above that is Italy. Italy has 20% of the population above 65 years of age, and 18% in Germany, and we can make a blow-up of uh, the European region. And I start from down here, and we take this part of the chart and we enlarge it and then we can see that down here we have Turkey. Turkey with only 5% uh, above 65 years. A young population in Turkey, still a family size of two and a half child per woman. So they will remain with a very young composition of the population for a long time, you know. Then there's a little difference. There's one group of countries there. Who are they? Who are they? Eh? The prominent one is France here, which have a relatively high fertility rate. Eh? But United Kingdom, and then you find Sweden and Belgium and the other Nordic countries. They have a little more children per woman and relatively high old people. That means that they will balance their population more than those who are on this side here, who have very few children born. And there you find Spain and you find Ukraine, you find Bulgaria, and you find Germany up here. But of course, most prominent is Italy in the top. And it's interesting to see that, that down together with Turkey here, you find countries like Mexico, like Vietnam, and of course, this is China, which will have a much more favorable, economically favorable population composition than Europe for a long time to come.